Stock splits are very exciting events in the market that sometimes present a lot of short-term opportunity. In this video, I'm gonna explain how stock splits work everything you need to know about two upcoming stock splits between Shopify and Google and some other very helpful tips and just information to know while trading stock split events. Now, before I get too much in depth, I just want to make sure everyone understands how sp stock splits work and why they have no real influence on the value of a company. So we have actually Amazon just split today or yesterday, but we actually have Shopify and Google set to split in a couple weeks. And a lot of people are going to blindly buy into these companies thinking that the stock split is going to magically, you know, boost their valuation, but it's just not true. And here's why. Let's say you have company A that is worth $1 million or AK, or also, you know, has a $1 million market cap, right? The company's worth a million dollars. The company can be worth a million dollars and they could have, you know, 20,000 shares out there at $50 each, you know, 50 times 20,000 equals a million. Or the company can have 12,500 shares out there in the market at $80 each. Or they can have only 2,000 shares out there at $500 each. No matter which way you spin it, they are still worth a million dollars. I mean, you know, the company, if they really wanted to, can have a million shares out there in the market at $1 each. No matter what, when you take the share price, you know, the stock, the, the price the stock is currently trading at, and you multiply it by the total shares outstanding, that gives you the valuation of the company. So when we see stock splits happen, there's nothing changing about the company. The only thing that's changing is an event where like, you know, let's say we have, you know, in the purple right here, $500 per share at uh, 2,000 shares. All the company would be doing is, you know, dividing this per share price by 10 if they're doing a 10 to 1 stock split. So that means their share price would go from 500 down to 50. So you divide that by 10. But because everything has to remain equal, you have to multiply the total shares outstanding by 10, which would take their total shares outstanding from 2,000 up to 20,000. But either way, the company's still worth a million dollars. So nothing changes about the company's during stock splits. You know, we can see, let's say we look at the upcoming Shopify stock split. They are set to do a 10 to one stock split, okay? Shareholders as of record on June 22nd will, re will receive an additional nine shares of Shopify stock on June 28th after market close. People read the headlines and say, wow, so you're telling me I can buy Shopify right now and I'm gonna get an extra nine shares? Yeah, technically you can, but the shares are going to be worth, um, it, like they're going to be worth significantly less. So it's not like you just get free shares because if that was the case, everyone would be buying into Shopify right now. So it's like, yeah, you can buy, you know, Shopify shares right now and you will get, you know, 10, overall you'll have 10 times more shares as, as you had originally, but the share price will only be worth a 10th of what it was. So it's like nothing's changing. But anyways, um, there have been a couple notable stock split events over the past couple years, especially with Apple and Tesla. And a lot of people really like stock splits nowadays because of how Apple and Tesla moved when they split. So check this out. When Apple announced their stock split back in like the end of July of 2020, um, their stock just soared. You guys see this red vertical line right where my cursor is? That's when Apple announced their uh, stock split. Their stock just boomed up, right? And it was awesome and it was great, right? But it's important not to confuse correlation with causation. People will say, oh, you know, look what happened when Apple stock split. Yeah, it rose, but... There were also a lot of other things happening in the world and the market at that time. The Fed was just pumping trillions of dollars into the market and we were in the middle of a gigantic bull run. The market is different now. Just because Apple boomed up from their stock split, that doesn't mean Shopify or Google will. You know, correlation doesn't equal causation. But hey, you know, Apple got a lot of hype last time it split. And let's also look at Tesla. Uh, the red vertical line right where my cursor is, is when Tesla announced their stock split. Their stock went from like $273 all the way up to highs of like 500. It like doubled. Like That is insane, right? It's insane. But correlation doesn't equal causation. Either way, whichever way you look at it, in the past, some hype 
is generated from stock splits. Amazon recently completed their 20 for one stock split. It's awesome. Um, now here's the thing. While that nothing changes about the valuation of the company, it does have like stock splits do have a psychological impact on traders. For example, let's say Amazon stock right now is at $120 each. Before the stock split, it was around $2,500. You know, when you have like an everyday person who might not be um, too into the stock market, you know, they might say Amazon stock at $2,500. No way I'm buying that. But if someone says Amazon stocks at $121, people will be like, oh, I'm going to buy that all day. There's like a psychological impact that we see in the market from these stock splits. And that's kind of why we get the hype that we see sometimes with these splits. So um, that is one thing to keep in mind. You know, it does have a psychological impact. So take that however you want. Um, but back to the upcoming splits. You know, like I said, Shopify will officially have their split uh, after market close on June 28th, so a couple weeks or so, keep it on your radar. Um, and then Google, so there are two stock tickers for Google. You have GOOG, which is the Class C shares, and then you have GOOGL, which are the Class A shares. Both of these stocks will be splitting. Um, shareholders, as of record of July 1st, will receive an additional 19 shares of you know Google stock, for every one share they own, and then they'd receive those additional shares on July 15th after market close. So we have a little over a month with this Google split. They are doing a 20 to one stock split, while Shopify is doing a 10 to one stock split. Basically what that means is Google stock will essentially be divided by 20, and their total shares outstanding will be multiplied by 20. Shopify, on the other hand, will have you know, their share price divided by 10 and their total shares outstanding will be multiplied by 10. So um, those are the important things to know. Like I said, in the past, we have seen some bullish movement with the announcements of stock splits, but they don't change anything about the company. They can't add in some hype, but just remember this example here. At the end of the day with company A, whichever way you spin it, whether it's, you know, a million shares at $1 each in the total shares outstanding of a million, or you have 2,000 uh, 2, shares outstanding and $500 per share each, they're still worth a million dollars. Nothing changes, but you know, when company A is worth you know, only one, or trading at $1 per share, it makes it seem cheaper and people might be more willing to buy the stock. So um, hopefully you guys learned something from this video. Stock splits are exciting events because sometimes when you do have that hype, um, coming into the underlying stock. It can be very fun to trade and it can bring in a lot of opportunity. So I hope you guys learned something. If you did, make sure to subscribe. I post brand new videos every single day. Um, I have a bunch of great videos on the channel. Make sure to subscribe if you're new and also check out that first link in the description and the comments down below to join our free stock trading group. It's completely free. We have a bunch of great people in the group. We chat about trading all day long and it's free to join and it's awesome. So join up. Besides that, have a great rest of your day.